Welcome back guys. Those of y'all that uh, just finished with my introduction video. But here we are finishing the day up. Little recap from the day. Morning started like 1.30 this morning. Did some concrete paving out in San Antonio. Now I'm in uh, Corpus. And I'm here shoot some grades for tonight, for tonight's pour. Some 3D, some mapping for some 3D paving for laser screed. This one's a little cut up here. A lot of redwood in here for tonight. But let's see here. Y'all can see what I'm looking at here as I pulled up. So what I need to do now is uh, some 3D mapping, pretty much take points of all my perimeter form, all the expansion joints in here, and get everything ready to go for tonight for laser screed. So got to beat the dark before the sun goes down. I got 45 minutes, so I better get after it. Well, this is taking a little longer than I expected today. I guess uh, all that vacation over the these holidays here kind of <laughs> had my mind a little confused on setting all this up. Also, it doesn't help today adjusting so much on uh, from the expansion joint to top of curb, the valleys. The drain boxes there was a whole bunch of stuff today to lay out for this three day for the 3d mapping this for this pour tomorrow but we just about got it buttoned up got one more run to lay out here All we're doing here in this process is literally taking points along all the extension joints, um, especially all the brakes. when we build this model and connect it to the screen, it has a, a pretty good contour to follow here in the pour. And also all these intersections and expansion joints we map out helps us as an operator know exactly where we're at on the pour to make sure we're following all the brake lines correctly to stop and go if not the LPS system model would just create a big old, big old model would be very difficult to, to navigate around on it. Maybe two islands. I think there's an island over here, but I didn't map any further this way because there's still some form work that's missing out there. So tomorrow I'll just catch all this area that's missing out here during the pump moving and stuff. But alrighty. Well, we're gonna pick up, get something to eat hotel for the night.
Morning guys. Had some issues this morning connecting this GoPro. For my life, I couldn't get it turned on or connected to the phone, so. Here we are. Had a little rough start this morning. We ended up starting at four o'clock with the curbs and then we started laying mud at 5.30 this morning. That's all the pump reached on this shot here. 7.30 now, so not bad for two hours. But waiting for the pump to come back around to this side over here so we can uh, get set up and finish this job out. Not too sure how far on we're gonna go. But I think we have probably around 15, 16,000 square feet that they have with a rebar here. But only maybe another 7,000 that's ready to pour a couple headers that are missing. But that's where the pump's going to sit over there where the mistakes are at. Pump's coming around right now. To show you what we did yesterday, this is what the uh, mapping is. You can see here, this is the whole area here. All these purple lines, that's our expansion joints. A blue line is a valley that runs through the middle. That red line right here is our perimeter line. And this little figure right here is where the screed's currently sitting at. But that's pretty much a general overview of all this area that got mapped out yesterday evening. So we're right around almost halfway from what we mapped out.